The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Guys, we will do a brief one day, so I'll give this to Sunday's agencies radio. And we'll do a couple of things. Hello. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. What's your, what's your uh, assessment of your, your Hard work. Um, very intense. Very difficult. And at the end, deserved three points. So, um, the start of the game was not, was not perfect for us. Of course, we had uh, the first chance at, I think, Chris Palace with a fantastic save of Loris Caris. Long ball, next long ball. Um, kind of a 50 50 situation. I didn't see it back, though I think it um, was a dangerous play of both, kind of. And then Loris touched him as well, 100%. Um, penalty for, for Crystal Palace, what makes the, guy, the game not easier, obviously, and the job not easier. And then you have to still to play football and we did that first half but actually not often enough and then um, and not good enough in a few moments otherwise I think always when we did it good we were pretty much in front of the in front of Hennessy and um, second half we knew that we have to carry on with um, cool um, down our nerves first of all because it was quite emotional penalty on one side no penalty on the other side the yellow card and stuff like that so we did that but then we lost a little bit the power at the end of the game because uh, the last two weeks completely different intensity levels where the player were friendly games some were training really hard some didn't train a lot and coming together in one day bring them all on one level it's always a big challenge and today you could see it I think both teams were not at their best so it was the question who who will at the end shoot one more goal and that where us and so I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. Yeah. No, not speak, but I saw him. It's a absolutely. Um, what's the right word for that? It's um, absolutely bad. So we don't know exactly what he has. Yes, um, but in the first moment when I saw him going down, it looked really serious. To be honest, looks like something with the muscle. We couldn't make any further assessment so far of course but uh, we will do that as quick as possible yeah, and he's um, our friend our boy our, our mate our player having a, diff a difficult season already maybe one of the biggest achievements of that team is that they could play a season so far like they played without Adam Lalana but I never would have thought it's possible um, and so we are all desperately waiting for him, and now coming step by step back, and now happened against something. It's not. It's really, it's a big, big um, blow for us today. Yes. What does this mean for his England hopes? That's absolutely too early, and um, I don't have the, the the English word for it in German. Uh, that would be, what I would have to say is would not be nice if you ask that early after consequences. First of all, we hope all his will not be that serious, means if it's only one week, then I, it means nothing. If it's longer, it means something probably, but that's not about now to decide that. It's just not good. That's it. It was no dive. No. Diving with a bit of contact is not, is not possible. Diving is without contact. It was a contact, 100%, and if Sadio then you feel it. Actually, the player wants to carry on. Yeah. And then you see you can't. So, and then you go down. That's it. That's a big difference. So if you, if you wait for the contact, he didn't wait for the contact. He felt it. Everybody could see it. 
hopefully. Did you see the contact or didn't? Yeah, I said it because he wants to stay and then he doesn't go, didn't work and goes down. So that's the situation. That's not a dive. So we cannot decide about penalty, but it's not a dive. So very important. But then he had to go through that whistle concert constantly when he had the ball because of a yellow card and stuff like this. So obviously the ref was really sure there was absolutely no contact or something like that. And um, yes, that's the situation. And the second yellow, okay, I think it was a foul on Sadio. <laughs> and then Sadio having all the time this, it was not a perfect day for him. He played really well for that circumstances, but it was not a perfect day. And then he made the wrong decision, put a hand on the ball. So, yes, foul on me. Game is on the rub, wasn't. And then I thought, okay, that's it. Au revoir. <laughs> See you later. I thought now he's gone, of course. Yeah, yeah. But um, then it became even more strange. Then they had a free kick and we didn't get a yellow card. And then uh, I said, yeah. I'm probably not the right person to talk about that, but in that moment we're lucky. But in my opinion, it would have been the first yellow card in the game, and then, yeah, that's it. Last couple, Oliver and the gentleman in the front. Row. Yeah, how, how um, important was it today to the manner of the victory to come back from one goal down? You have you have Man City on Wednesday. Is is it important in terms of the mood of the club and the team? No, in a moment, nobody should be worried about our mood or, or kind of or, um, boys are really on fire. I like that, but it was. I know it as a football professional, you always have to deliver, deliver, deliver. But we really came back from completely different countries, if you want, time zones, and and you have two days or one and a half, and be prepared. And then you you see physically, we were not on our best today. That's the problem, and you need all what you have to beat. Crystal Palace, and so you had to fight or we fought, and I'm really happy about that. That we didn't play the best football, we can play, no problem with that, but it helps, of course, especially in the Premier League. It will still be very difficult against Manchester City. I don't think that gives us a big advantage against them, but um, no problem with that. Um, we are, will be excited about the opportunity to play City in a qualifier <coughs> early enough, but in a moment we're still um, enjoying that result. Final question for you, the Monday's gentleman. You have um, Mo Salah has now scored 29 league goals. In the past, you've had people like Coutinho and Suarez being coached, taken away from. Are you worried that the same might happen next season? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just no? What could I say more? You ask, are you worried? And I say no. Can I, what can you say any more about him? You've already said thousands of words about Star, are they? He still didn't have a particularly good game, but still did the business. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That makes a proper striker. Then you have a, if you only um, score at a, at a perfect day, then you cannot score 29 goals. Um, that's clear. So outstanding. Just having him on the pitch then a situation like that is, is good. Hopefully it stays like this. That's the most important thing. I think both goals we scored today were fantastic goals. Both were team goals. Both were outstandingly good play. Had more of these situations coming in the box, coming on the touchline, cross the ball flat and hard. We could have been in the position a little bit. Um, could have had more players in the position, but you saw it. The boys can play better, but still they are still dangerous. So that's that's good. Roberto Firmino fought today a lot <laughs> with himself as well. So and the circumstances and stuff like this. But then he had his moments, very important moments for us. So I'm I'm completely fine with that. I said the dirty three points are very often the most important. And he, they were really dirty today. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.